just like a laser throughout this entire event. Maxime Bouchino is here to win. He's with Todd Richards. Maxime, I noticed that your your strategy is a little bit different. You have the big airs, but you're sticking to the rail work. Is there is there a reason, or are you just not getting the waves to give you the opportunities to, to take to the air like we know you can? Um, I think it's uh, it's more. I, I really like this left, you know, and I really like to go for those big turns, you know. And I think most of the guys are not doing it, so I, I knew I can do a big difference with that. So I was trying to focus on that, but. I like to enjoy going for the airs as well, so it's like it's different plane. It's just I think it's because of the condition. I just try to make the best out of it and then try to make a good choice. And I just wanted to try to be patient and wait for the sets because I see the big scores are, are on the sets. So I didn't want to rush too much for airs, but it's definitely something I love to do. It's definitely working out for you. Are you anxious for the title of former world junior champion to go away and perhaps be replaced by Vans U.S. Open champion? Yeah, oh, that would be lovely. <laughs> I think uh, it's been four years I haven't won the contest, so <laughs> I would definitely be stuck, you know. Uh, it's been a while. i just been through a lot of phase uh, where I didn't go too well, so I tried just to get all the confidence back and get on tour because I really want to be there. And uh, anything for your fans in French, your native language? Yeah, uh, bonjour à tout le monde en France. Uh, la bise à, à toute ma famille, tous mes copains, et petite dédicace uh, au Pet Beat. C'est une belle bande de fumée, ils sont cool. All right, thank you very much, Maxime Houston. Moving on. Uh, thanks, Todd. Great uh, line of questioning right there. I'm wondering that exact same thing myself. You know, we know Maxime's capable of that big air, but the fact that he's sticking to the power, you know, mixing it up in a different way. We like seeing Maxime Houston. Again, yeah, like he said, former world junior champion. He oh. wants to get a fans U.S. Open of Serpent champ now in his uh, byline. He's like got a couple results big. already. You know, those big results, uh, ninth place at the Bolito Pro, and then a ninth place at the Quicksilver Pro Soccer Rainbow, those prime events. So we've had four of them. This is the four. Uh, he's already got another result. So this is uh, exactly what he needs to do. By making this next heat, he moves into the man-on-man -man portion of it. And uh, with that, he gets himself uh, big points. And yeah, another is... solid result. I mean, that you know, he's got a ninth, so he's in that at least. That's the, the 3,700 points is what he's guaranteed uh, by getting into this next round. But and ultimately, at this point now, everything he's adding on there is gravy. You know, uh, round of 16 is where he's at right now. Yeah, guaranteed 3,700 points, 4,300 bucks. So he's paid for his trip, which is always nice. Uh, but then, yeah, get into those quarters. That's 5,200 points, a big jump, you know, once you go into the quarterfinals. And that'll help him even more uh, if you were able to get through this next heat. Um, you know, looking at, he just was in heat six, so he'll be in uh, quarterfinal number three. And then he'll be up against the winner of heat number five, which was, uh, who was that? Timmy Reyes? Either way, it doesn't matter. Man on man, he's on... Uh, a different format now. We're going to change it up because uh, once you go man on man, changes the strategy slightly. I mean, obviously, it's about ripping the ways that you get, but you could be a little bit more selective in what you choose. You know, we'll probably go to thirty minute pace with man on man. Yeah, and it's just, you know you can you can start surfing against your competitor rather than surfing against the conditions. Well, right now, it's obvious what the judges are looking for: big.